Construction vehicles have a long history. Different kinds of equipment have been used since at least the 1st century BC when Vitruvius, a Roman architect engineer, described the crane as a machine powered by animal or human labor. Today, the definition of such machines have completely changed. Heavy vehicles are now powered by an internal combustion engine or electric motor. Some use liquid fluid power to perform work. Reclaimer Used for handing large quantities of dry material, such as coal, iron ore, petroleum coke. A reclaimer is a volumetric machine used to recover bulk materials such as cereals and ores from a stockpile. It is rated in tons per hour based on the average bulk density of the materials being reclaimed. A conventional bucket wheel reclaimer moves in three directions. Vertically by luffing its boom. Horizontally along the rail. Rotationally by slewing its boom. The machine is usually powered by electricity through a series of cables. It can be assembled in various ways as per the requirements, load and flow rate. For example, a combination of boom and bucket wheel is used in the event of very high material flow rates. Telehandler Used for quickly picking and carrying materials. Examples JCB 535-95 Manitou Telehandler Telehandler is similar to a forklift but with a boom, which makes it more of a crane with better versatility. The boom can be attached to different components such as a winch, bucket, muck grab, or pallet forks. The major advantage of this vehicle is that it is multifunctional. It can be used for many different tasks. With the right attachment, one can turn this machine into a tractor, crane, lift truck, or aerial work platform. It can be operated on any train, thanks to its wide off-road tires. The vehicle proves its usefulness in the field, in the yard, and in the stables of the farm. Paver Used for laying asphalt on roads, bridges, parking lots. Examples Track Paver F555F The first asphalt paver was developed in the 1930s to construct roads efficiently. Since then, the basic concept of the machine has remained relatively unchanged. The asphalt is added to the hopper. It is then carried from the hopper to the auger through the conveyor. The auger puts the material stockpile in front of the screed. The screed takes the stockpile and spreads it over the road. The screen finally levels the road and provides compaction. In order to construct roads with smooth surfaces, the vehicle moves at a fixed speed and provides a consistent stockpile of material in the front of the screen. Ballast Tamper Used for making railway tracks more durable. Examples Jackson 6700 When a train moves over a track, it creates enormous forces. The entire track comprised of rails, sleepers, and ballast in an elastic system deforms and returns to its normal position. However, this high stress deteriorates the track geometry over the long term. In order to maintain the ideal geometry of tracks, it is important to maintain them regularly. Ballast tamper is used for such maintenance. It packs the track ballast under railway tracks to make the tracks more durable. Modern ballast tampers can also perform leveling and lining to reduce the mechanical strain applied to the rails by passing trains. Backhoe Used for excavation, landscaping, paving roads, transporting materials. Examples 770X Magnum A backhoe is an excavation machine that contains a digging bucket on the end of a two-section articulated arm. The part of the arm nearest to the vehicle is called the boom, and the part carrying the bucket is called the dipper. Boom is connected to the vehicle via pivot, which enables the arm to pivot from 180 to 200 degrees. Since these vehicles are relatively small in size and versatile, they are mostly used in small construction projects, such as fixing urban roads and building a small house. They are also used to plant trees, clean dirt or snow, and perform small-scale drilling in certain regions. Skid Steer Loader 
used for digging, lifting, and moving heavy materials. Examples Mustang 2054 A skid steer is a small, versatile construction vehicle used primarily for digging. Its arms can be attached to various labor-saving tools to perform different construction and landscaping jobs. It contains four wheels that are mechanically locked in synchronization on each side. However, the right side drive wheels can be driven independently of the left side drive wheels. The interesting thing about this vehicle is its wheels have no separate steering mechanism. Then how does it turn? To turn the vehicle, the operator increases the speed of the wheels on one side. This causes the fast rotating wheels to skid or drag across the ground as the vehicle turns in the opposite direction. Once the turn is complete, the operator returns both sides to the same speed. This steering mechanism is what gives the vehicle its name. It can carry material in the bucket, push heavy materials from one area to another, and perform various digging and grading tasks. Feller Buncher Used for cutting and moving trees from one location to another. Examples LX 830D Feller Buncher or Tiger Cat 855V. A feller buncher is a self-propelled machine with an attachment that can quickly gather and cut a tree before felling it. It is primarily used for cutting, holding, and putting the stems on the ground. The vehicle is either wheeled or tracked and has a self-leveling cabin for easy operability. The cutting heads are mounted either to a boom or to the chassis and a base carrier. Different types of cutting heads can be attached based on the type and size of trees to be cut. Feller bunchers are a highly productive machine. They work well in both clear cuts and thinnings. They are mostly used in regions where biomass removal is required and stems to be removed fall within the acceptable range of bunching head. Agricultural Tractor Used for pushing agricultural machinery or trailers, harrowing, planting, and similar tasks. Examples Case SDX 450 The earliest tractors from the late 19th century were designed to replace horses and oxen, which would pull plows and carts. While tractors were initially built to help with farm work, they are now considered a multifunctional vehicle for the construction industry as well. The most powerful tractors, which are powered by a diesel engine, are used to pull heavy loads. They are equipped with a special gearbox that transforms the high-speed revolution into lower-speed revolutions for the wheels while increasing the amount of force that the tractor can utilize to pull heavy materials. Modern tractors come with a hydraulically powered lifting system and power-assisted braking and steering to safely control heavy loads. Some even have heated and air conditioning cabins and GPS navigation. Bucket Wheel Excavator Used for surface mining. Examples. Bagger 1473. Bucket wheel excavators are used for massive scale operations that involve the excavation of soft semi-hard overburden and the transfer of loose materials. These gigantic machines remove thousands of tons of overburdened soil rock and other materials that lie above a coal seamore or body per day. Unlike other large vehicles, this machine uses a large wheel consisting of a continuous pattern of buckets. As the wheel turns, the bucket scoop materials from a section of earth. It is primarily used in lignite, brown coal mining, bulk materials handling, and other industrial mining processes used to extract copper, uranium, precious metals, and other compounds from ore. The largest of the bucket wheel excavators, Bagger 293, holds the Guinness World Record for the heaviest land-based vehicle ever built. It weighs 31.3 million pounds, requires five people to operate, and can move to 118,880 tons of soil in a day. Bulldozer Used for pushing large quantities of sand, soil, snow, rocks, or similar materials. Examples Caterpillar D10 Bulldozers are one of the most popular construction vehicles. It is a type of heavy tractor integrated with a large metal blade or plate. It consists of wide tracks that distribute the vehicle's weight over a broad area and give mobility through very rough terrain. Its transmission system is designed to take advantage of the track system and provide high tractive force. The blade, which is mounted in front of the tractor, operates hydraulically. Sometimes, a long, claw-like metal is attached at the back of the vehicle, 